Confined to tiny cages, they endured a life of pain. An animal rights group came to the rescue, but hope of a better future was quickly dashed. Nobody wanted them because they were old. A second chance came when a Cape Wildlife Sanctuary extended a helping paw. These guys were all um, pets. And as with any wildlife, you know, when they're small, they're cute and they're lovable and everything. As they grow older, they become a problem. And especially raccoon, because they're very intelligent. And um, so they were kept in very small enclosures. Um, people didn't look after them anymore. They were just there, I mean, living in small cages and feces and everything everywhere. Here, these forest dwellers are adapting to their new habitat. When they came here, a few of them were scared, but they soon discovered the houses where they can hide, so they immediately went and hide. Um, but there were one or two that were quite uh, tame that came to us and came to get some food. Uh, but they have adapted very well to the weather. Uh, it's a bit hot for them, but uh, they are adapting very well. They love their new environment. The raccoons are omnivores and their diet is varied. In the morning we give them dog food to eat, uh, veterinarian dog food of course. And at night they get a variety of vegetables and fruits and chicken and eggs and things like that to eat. Uh, other than that, we give them throughout the day uh, treats uh, like raisins and peanut butter and dried fruit to just get them used to us. Leisure time on tree branches. Always a twist to every tale. And in this case, it's a tale at last of sweet freedom.